These two 1,500 ton capacity cold rooms are empty. This is your engine room. This is the engine room four. A few meters away from the combined 3,000 ton capacity cold room is this 800 ton capacity cold room, which has also been placed under lock and key. Only eight years ago, these cold rooms were stocked with one vessel full of seafoods. But the shouts, laughter and sometimes the petty quarrels among the over 400 workers are no more. Year on year, the high cost of utility bills and more importantly, the city's depreciation have virtually brought the company on its knees. When you are bringing the fish at the time of importing, the dollar rate to CD, there maybe it's nine CDs. When the fish get down, they give you maybe 90 days credit or letter of credit to you know pay back. Within that period, how can you do it? By the time you sell finish and the dollar is maybe 10 point something, you can't make anything. You can't even break even. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. For, and with the current electricity bill, water, it can't break even. Beyond the frustrations of the city depreciation is what he also terms the unexplained request by some state agencies. Recently, the other coast saw that those Lebanese and Hananuman and those ones, they are being harassed by this. Now, I don't know, either Yoko is working for GRA or GRA is working for Yoko. They will tell you, bring your, your books and everything. You, you see, the, the whole document will be kept at Yoko. It's like a military regime. In the midst of all these troubles, these institutions are also harassing mm. the businessmen. To help keep the company in business, it is now concentrating heavily on exports, which the operations manager says is less risky. He is of the view that with the right policy interventions, the city can hold its own against the major trading currencies, but fears many companies will fold up if its free fall is not checked.